really am serious about inviting people to come paint with me and learn everything I can possibly teach them. I think people frequently go to Jerry's Artorama or any art supply store and buy all it takes to go home and do just exactly their heart's content in painting. And they go home and they get all set up and they put a few marks on the paper and it's not what they thought it was going to look like and they put it up and they don't try again for a very long time until they have another motivation. And those are the people that I am motivated to go back home and set back up and work, it, work through it. I think the materials they use matter. I think the encouragement um, to find out that they're not supposed to be doing a masterpiece, they're supposed to be creating art. And creating art takes practice, just like if they were playing a piano or uh, any, any instrument. They have to practice, they have to try it, they have to be creative, they have to make mistakes. And I like to go and make mistakes in front of people and let them see that it really doesn't matter. It's just a piece of paper and a few minutes of my time and I enjoyed the time as much as anything. When I was a little girl, everything was really did well for me. My older sister was real special and she liked me and everything was good and I was the baby and I got a lot of attention. And then my younger sister was born and she was very ill and I started being carted off here and carted off there and I stopped getting the attention that I'd been getting and I was real unhappy and I had an aunt and uncle that took a lot of interest in me and they bought me a drawing pad and the outside of the drawing pad it said artist and I was old enough to read that and I knew what it said and I carried that drawing pad around to say that's who I am. I believed I was an artist because I had a real artist pad and I had drawing pencils and I would sit on the floor and I'd draw when people were doing other things and I needed to entertain myself and people always said nice things to me and so it was a real encouragement for me to continue doing it. When I would go home and I needed my parents' attention, I would go draw something that I knew that they'd say something nice about. gave me a purpose, it gave me even who I was, who I am. And to this day, I use it to solve problems, I use it to be by myself, I use it to get out with people, I use it to have something to give people. I'm accused of being real corny about it, that's who I am. I was living uh, in the middle of, of Austin and um, had time every day to spend some time painting in oils and we moved to Leander a year and a half ago and I started riding the bus to and from work and I ride the bus, it's an hour and a half drive on the bus and that took away any time I had to paint in the mornings when I, when I got up and that's when I'm accustomed to painting is early in the morning. And so I thought I have to do something and I created what I call a lap easel. And I carry with me, this is my equipment, um, this is all it takes and I paint on the bus every day. And 
um, what I do is I get my spray bottle out and I wet my paint and um, fold a napkin and water brushes. And I do serious artwork. I, I do pet portraits, commission pet portraits while I ride the bus to and from work. I make money while I ride the bus to my job every day. You can't find a way to do it when you look at what I have done to um, um, do artwork every day. And I've done this to do something. I've managed to do artwork no matter where I live, no matter what my situation was because of um, uh, this strong desire I have to always do artwork.